you know, this title, I was thinking it was easy. You know, you go in a plane, comfortable air-conditioned planes, and you have everything provided, and air-conditioned hotels, and you become a haji, so, so what? But wallah, I tell you, I can testify that if you've been through the process, you deserve the title haji. You deserve it. It's an ordeal, wallah, it's an ordeal. We are doing it for Allah's sake. If a man paid me a million to go through that again with my wife and child, I'll never do it. But for Allah's sake, I will do it. What you have to go to the jam what do you call the place where you stone? <laughs> you know, I tell you. Somebody hit me with a stone on my forehead, bleeding. <laughs> I lost my watch. My watch came off. I lost my shoes. I fell down. Had it not been for some Pakistanis, I tell you, Allah, I would have been a dead man. You wouldn't have seen me here today. Yeah, because once you fall, it's finished. You can't get up. I'm physically quite a fit fellow, but once you are down there, you are finished. Some Pakistanis helped me, alhamdulillah. I lost a thousand dollars. It was around the big belt I had. It was all cash, and that thing came out. <laughs> that, the, once before, the day before, or that morning, I went, and I saw, I saw something there. Shh, we were wanting to go, my wife and my daughter and myself. And I saw people as if they were on fire. People, you know, that they're making a charge. Charge, you know, like you says, charge of the light brigade. You know, to people, they gather together and they're charging through people. I said, what do you do? Want to hit shaitan? They are human shaitans all abounding. Allah, shaitans all over. So we retreated. But now we have to go through the process, otherwise I'm not a hari. So we made a second attempt, and at the second attempt, all these things happen. Not for a million, but for Allah's sake, we do it. I say, I deserve the title Haji, okay? But don't waste it on me. This is what we take. Some some water, dates, goods, and titles. But the Talbiya, the Talbiya, you said, La Sharik Alak. This is the slogan. The United Nations, they have the different commissions, and every year they come out with a slogan. This is water year. Save it. Use it. Don't abuse it. This is the age. This is the year for the aged. It says, an old age home is not her destiny. Your mother, when she grows old, don't put her in an old age home. This is year for planting trees. Wherever they pass a resolution, the whole world of the United Nations, wherever they are, they talk about the same thing, water, 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 trees, 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 old age of people, old age. This is the purpose of a slogan, carry it out. 1400 years, we are crying, la sharika luck, la sharika luck, and we leave it behind. The thing that we are supposed to take with, we are supposed to bring with, we leave that behind, and we bring dates and some some water. Yes. Because wherever you go, in India, you Hajis, you Pakistanis, you go to West, you go, wherever you go, in South Africa, there are people doing shirk. In all directions, shirk, shirk, shirk. You and I are supposed to find them. So, la sharikalat, you are supposed to tell them, la sharikalat, Allah has no associates, don't associate anybody, be, any being with Him. This is your job. We are supposed to do, we are supposed to stand in a marketplace. Doing Allah's work. I want to be a Karim Salah. Look at the example. He used to retire to Ghare Hira, Jabal al Nur, before Nubuwa. He used to go there, sometimes alone, sometimes with his dear wife, Ummul Muminin Khadija al Kubra. He used to spend days and weeks there at times to commune with the Almighty. What was actually happening, the details, I do not know. What was the details about that experience of his? It's only after Nubuwa we have a detailed record of what transpired. What was happening between him and his Lord, I don't know. But on the 27th of the month of Ramadan, don't start questioning me about the 27th. This is generally accepted. On the 27th of the month of Ramadan, when he was 40 years old, Allah Ta'ala sends his angel, Akhi Jibreel, to him in the cave and commands him in his mother tongue, Iqra, which means read, or recite, or rehearse, or repeat. And our Nabi Kareem, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being an ummi, he says, ma'ana biqare. There's a testimony that he can't read. He's telling, 
He said, look, ma ana He said, I'm not learned. So the angel of God commands him a second time, Iqra! Again he pleads. He says, ma ana He's terrified. The third time the angel of God says, Iqra, bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaq. So read in the name of the Lord and cherisher who created. Now he grasps that what he was required to do was to repeat. Because this Arabic word Iqra, I'm given to understand, means to read, to recite, to repeat, to re- rehearse, to repeat. And he repeated the words. Iqra, bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaq. Read in the name of the Lord and cherisher who created. Khalaq al-insana min alak. Say, he who created man.